On this video, I'm going to show you how to improve your footwork in boxing while using the heavy bag. So no matter where you are and when you're moving, you'll be able to throw good, clean, solid punches. My name's Tony Jeffries, Olympic medalist, seven times national champion, European champion, and former undefeated professional boxer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like boxing, which I'm sure you do because you're watching this video, please subscribe to this channel where I upload lots of boxing education videos. Moving around the heavy bag, I'm gonna first tell you some common mistakes that I see regularly when people are on the heavy bag and moving around. First one, and probably the biggest one, is this. When they're moving to the right, moving around like this. Again. Did you see what I did there? So what people do, they'll step to the right and they'll move the left foot first. If I do this, it puts me in this position for a split second. Yeah, a split second's not very long, but if you're in a boxing match, it is a long time. And as well, if I'm here, I can't throw any punches. If I get punched in this position, I'm off balance, I'm gonna get knocked down, or I'm gonna stumble and not look very good. So if you're moving to your right, what you need to do is move your right foot first. This keeps you in the perfect boxing position to throw any punches. And it's the same moving to the left. If I move to my left and I move my right foot first, this happens, which is a common mistake. People will be moving and they'll be moving around like this, crossing the feet. You never want to cross your feet. If I'm there, again, I'm in that same horrible position. But if I move my left foot first and I'm moving like this, I'll move my right foot first, moving right, left foot left. I'm always in the position to throw them punches, which you always want to be in. Another thing, be on your toes. I'll see when people, especially when they get tired, they'll be moving on the bag and they'll be flat footed. If you're flat footed here and someone throws a punch, you're kind of stuck in, in the spot that you're in. If you're on your toes and you're light on your feet, someone throws a punch, you can move. What I believe is footwork is the best defense in boxing. If you're on your toes and you're moving around the bag, you can always move out and move back in. So it's great for defending when you're on them toes. And the last thing, the last big mistake that I see is this, when people be moving. Be moving around, bringing the feet together. I don't have to tell you if I'm in this position, how bad it is. I can't punch, and if I get punched, I'm falling over. So you wanna keep your feet apart, short movements on your toes, moving right, move your right foot first, moving to the left, move your left foot first, and it'll look like this. Yeah, you see? Now with this, no matter where I am, I'm ready to fire them punches out. I can punch from everywhere. So that right there is the footwork, the basic footwork. Something for you to think about when you're, doing, when you're moving around on the heavy bag. No matter what level you're at, you can always improve your footwork. If you're a very beginner or if you're an experienced veteran boxer, get better footwork. Then once you master the footwork, then you can start thinking about the rest of your boxing techniques and skills. But without the solid base, the solid foundation, which is the feet, you're not going to get very far in boxing. Or if you're doing this for fitness, you're not going to improve and you're not going to look good when you're doing your boxing workouts. Once the footwork's mastered, then you can start working mastering the punches. Once the punches are mastered, then you can start moving the head and then start to look like, like this. And I've got videos talking about punches, head movement on this channel. So please subscribe for more videos like this and thank you for watching.